here you can see a little special guest appearance here. This is Roseanne. Uh, Roseanne's um, a girl, one of my close girlfriends and she's also got a YouTube channel as well and a beauty blog and she also has a accessory shop online. Um, so yeah, today we wanted to do a little video um, talking about our March favourite. So we thought we'd do a little bit different considering we brought guests with us today. Hey. Okay, so Roseanne's going to start off by telling us what's... Okay, wait, tell us a bit more about yourself sir. Okay, so hey everyone, um, I'm Roseanne, I vlog and I do YouTube videos and I've been doing it for a long time I guess. I'm also a makeup artist, um, I trained in London for a while mm -hmm. and I've known Sarah for a really long time. I think the first time we met was when I passed you OPI nail polish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay so, um, okay, you yeah. get started? I think um, both of us picked up three of our top favourite match. Uh, much favorite item so these will be um we'll be picking just three yeah yeah pick yeah. three okay so we're going to show you three of our favorite items for the month of march yep oh me first okay so the first one i really like is the urban decay naked basis palette and i've talked about this so That's many the eyeshadow times one, right? this is eyeshadow so there's um actually six colors five happen to be matte and one frost so venus is frosty mm -hmm. and i love this i've been using it for a lot of different people as well like models and clients because a lot of them ask for a neutral or a nude eye usually mm -hmm. so i tend to use the matte shades because they don't they don't kind of distract and they give you that really natural sort of flawless look that i really like and um, I just, how would you compare it to the makeup palette the Naked palette is great. Um, it has more variety. Like it's, um, it's got more colors. Right? Yeah, smoky plum colors and everything like that. Mm. But it's like if you think about it. I mean, for me at least, I always wear natural, neutral colors. Yeah. And there's only I don't. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's only a few that I actually do use, and I actually just use this on my base um, and put this in my outer corner. And then sometimes What's I, that? yeah. So they it's come out really intense. pigmented. Yeah. Yeah as well so i love urban decay naked the urban decay eyeshadows itself are very pigmented so that's a good thing yeah exactly yeah. and um even for like older clients they want matte shades because it it doesn't emphasize more their wrinkles skin, yeah. as well so it's great yeah. so i really like it okay your turn okay <laughs> um one of my favorites right now is um the maybelline magnum mascara uh this is my favorite right now it's really good i like the brush it's a bit curved. I don't know if you can see that. Whoops. Okay, so it's a bit curved and it kind of like um, hooks onto your lashes. And I'm wearing it right now, so I've got nice thick oh, long wow, lashes. Oh wow, the lashes are so good. Yeah, it's right. the mascara. The mascara is really good. So Actually, this is Maybelline mascaras are really good. Um, yeah, yeah, this one is yeah. waterproof, and mm -hmm. also because it's got leopard print on it, and it oh, matches my nails. It's her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's my one of my favorites. What's so my next one? one is individual lashes, and I've actually been wearing individual lashes for quite some time now and I do actually prefer them you, to strip are you lashes. Yeah. You wearing them right now? It now. Oh, okay. So they look natural, which I really mm -hmm. like, and they're really comfortable. So I've always had this problem where I really like the look of sort of fake lashes, yeah. but then I always feel like it's too, too heavy on my eyelids. And that's why I don't like go around outside without with strip lashes on yeah. usually. But mm -hmm. then what happened was I was doing a bridal client <laughs> and she asked me to do like individual lashes on her yeah. so then from then on she told so, but, me but do you, did you do it like the full eye or just the outer corner just the outer corner because the lashes i mean i have really small eyes i mean if you have bigger eyes then you would have longer lashes yeah. but for me i have small smaller eyes so i don't want to use the same length in the inner corner because that's going to be really overwhelming yeah <laughs> so i use okay. them sort of like demi lashes and so how many are you using right now like three about 44 four or five so yeah. four each eye yeah, okay. so you can see they I look very nice and wispy. And yeah, it's only the outer corner, so it's like yeah. flirty looking. It's yeah. very pretty, like a demi lash. Yeah. So I really enjoy these. These are Ardell as well, so they're really. I always like Ardell lashes. They're very. Um, mm -hmm. Their quality is really good as well. So where do you get them from? Shot. You can get them from Sephora. Okay. Yeah, they're it's like Sephora. yeah, they're like eleven, I think, for a lot of these. Yeah. And then you can just sterilize them and use them again. Oh, you can. Yeah. I was because I was thinking like with normal fake lashes, you can obviously a lot of times you reuse them, but with mm -hmm. this, it's so small. Yeah, you just have to be careful. Like use tweezers, and then you just take off the glue. So just everything's just mini, mini sort of mini scale. And I, I was talking to that client. I was like, oh, wow, you actually put them on every single day, and yeah. now I've been putting them on every single. But day. I mean, for the price, <laughs> you get a whole box of them compared yeah. to nowadays. Like 
You buy one pair of lashes, they cost you like what, $20 in Singapore? Yeah, they're really expensive. So this is not too bad. Yeah. And you can use them on your lower lash line as well, right? Yeah, like they, I mean, if you the can... The dolly sort of Yeah, look. that dolly look, then you can just like put three on each side. Mm. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yours. My next favorite would be the um, NARS lip pencils, which I got. Um, I actually have six of them right now, but these are my top three favorites. And I showed you guys in one of my videos as well. I'm wearing them right now. I'm wearing you. Oh, it's so and nice. I love it because it's super, super easy to apply. It's literally just like a chubby pencil, wow. just like that. And you just draw on and fill it in. It's super easy and it's so creamy. And the best part, it sort of leaves it's a stain. Super creamy. It wow. is very intense. Just one stroke, and you yeah. can see how intense the color is. Yeah. And um, after a while, when you wipe it away, it tends to leave a bit of a stain. So in that sense, it's long lasting. Oh wow. And it's just so comfortable to wear, and yeah. it's so easy to just pop into any bag, no matter how small your bag is. This is definitely gonna fit inside. That's good. And, it's such an um, easy sort of Yeah, it is. And they have woo, a lot of colors. And they have lots right? of colors. Yeah. Like you can get neutral colors. You can get hot pink. You can get um reds and stuff mm -hmm. really really nice and um yeah these are my favorite i use them i have at least one in my bag every day yeah. if it's not the neutral one then it's a red or something like that so okay, okay. Really, really on to Zen's next item okay so this is my last one and it, it is oh, the is. bobby brown bbu palette and it's actually an online exclusive thing you can't okay. really get them at the bobby brown counters mm -hmm. and um as you know being a makeup artist it's really essential that you're able to suit a lot of skin tones and a lot of different skin textures yep. so this is really great for that especially it's brilliant. It's if really someone's brilliant. just starting out because they have all the colors from their color correctors and their concealers as well and, and Bobbi Ross color, color correctors are really really good really good and also their foundation sticks that I really like so I've actually myself gone through like two tubes of so foundation which, which side is what this is foundation this is foundation stick so they actually tell you what color it is mm. natural tan espresso and it it's tells really, really you all good. the colors and it's inspired by what Bobbi Brown actually uses on set with her photo shoots mm. and she has all the colors available to her and it, I find it as a makeup artist it's so easy to use because it's like okay I'm doing a darker skin model neck yeah. a lighter skin model neck you just so need like, one palette bam, bam, bam. and it's so compact exactly. it's so light and you can use the lighter colors like this color as a highlighter as well mm -hmm. as a cream highlighter to blend it out and so make sure this side is the concealers and correctors. concealers and correctors and then this side is of course your foundation stick and i love the quality the, the, this quality is so good as well not only is it able to give you so many shades mm -hmm. but yeah the quality is amazing it's creamy it blends really well into the skin i've used a lot of foundation stick and it just basically covers all your flaws yeah. really naturally as well but what, what about like, um, uh, if somebody wants to get this online, mm -hmm. um, where do they get it from? They can get it online from the actual Bobby Brown website. Okay. Yeah. So and I don't suppose it ships to Singapore though. You don't, but you can always use like Depot yeah. and all these things to get it. Mm -hmm. and, but it's quite pricey, but if you, especially if you're a makeup artist, like it is very, it's very, very It's very worth it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. You get so many colors inside and exactly. it's compact and it's so small it's like a book it's so small yeah <laughs> rather than you know carrying tons of foundation and then separately tons of concealers exactly. and stuff like that it's so much more easy to just carry that around yeah palettes yeah. are really good for yeah doing makeup as well yeah, it's really good okay your turn i keep squinting because the sun is directly <laughs> okay um in case you're wondering um i know the backdrop is different right now compared to my other videos we're actually outside um because I figured we wanted to do something different rather than my usual indoor inside my room. So we're yeah. actually outside right now. So it's really hot. It's Singapore really is hot. really hot. It's like 34 degrees right now. It's super hot. It's but nice. um, yeah, we're taking breaks in between to dab ourselves with tissue because we're not firing. <laughs> but um, we wanted to do something different. So yeah. Okay, yeah. so onto my third favorite item. This is the um, Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I got it at Watson's recently and I was surprised because. Oh, color stay. I want to try that. Yeah, like I have the color stay foundation, which is yeah. my holy grail. I'm I wearing love it today. It. The foundation is the best amazing, thing ever. Yeah. It lasts all day. Yeah. It's the yeah. best thing it ever. Really does last. And um, it doesn't feel cakey. Like I'm wearing it right now, it doesn't feel cakey in my face. Mm -hmm. You know. Um. So when I saw that they had a concealer, I knew I just had to get it, and it's oh, brilliant, so brilliant, brilliant stuff. The coverage is really, really amazing. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you. Wow. So, I can imagine right. it doesn't last very long as it well. It does, it does. Exactly. That's because it's under the same um the same collection, the same range, the color stay range. Yeah. So it's very long lasting. And I find for me it doesn't crease. 
So I, I personally like it. For me, I'm somebody who likes makeup that's waterproof, that's long lasting because yeah. I, I perspire quite a bit, especially in this weather. So for me, anything that's waterproof and that lasts long, it's definitely going to be a hit with me. So this Revlon Colorstay Concealer, I forgot yeah. the price. I think it's like probably below 20. Yeah, yeah, below 20. Yeah, I mean, because it's, it's a drugstore brand. Singapore isn't exactly very cheap, but I it's a totally drugstore brand. I would totally get it, actually. I, was, I wanted to get it because I really like the foundation. It's good. It's very, very yeah. nice. So, um, again, in Singapore, we've got limited shades. I think the one I got is a darker shade, which is number four. So, they only have probably four shades. But um, if you buy it online, you probably get more variety anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, oh. I got it at Watson's. So, you can get it at Watson's, Sasa, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, they have it everywhere, wherever we're Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So, that's our favorites. Our favorites of <laughs> much. Um, let us know what you think about the video, whether you like it, whether you think um, I should do more favorites video and stuff like that. So... Um, that's our favorites. This has been me and Roseanne giving you a little uh, insight about our favorite products. So hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> the video and we will see you guys soon. Bye! Bye.